Okay, I'm about to start a new painting. It's gonna be um, Apollo and Daphne. It's a Greek myth, and uh, I have my I have my um, ready wood panel with a gray um, background with a with a with a gray uh, underpainting. That's how I like to paint. Um, I'm gonna start placing my elements onto the panel. This is how I place my elements. I'm gonna use unbleached white because my figures are gonna be uh, pale skinned, fair skinned. So I do not I do not wanna use any dark colors right now because that's gonna that's gonna um, show in the painting. It's, it's very difficult to cover dark colors. It's easier to cover uh, light colors. So I'm gonna use unbleach. I have a I have a sable here. Um, and bleach white. So I'm gonna start positioning my elements. I wanna know where my elements I'm gonna go. This is the this is the picture I'm gonna work from. It's a it's a it's a picture from a movie, an old movie from the twenties. I'm gonna turn it into a painting in color. Um, is that me? I'm gonna modify that just my my go by my inspiration just to have figures to look at. It's gonna help me, but it's not gonna be. I'm not gonna paint the exact thing. I'm just gonna. This is this. This is gonna be my inspiration. But I'm gonna paint my own painting. I'm gonna do my own composition. I'm gonna add different elements that are not there. Um, but anyway, let's start with this. So uh, this is gonna be my ground. I, I, I need to. I need to place my ground. Where's my? Where are they gonna be standing on? This is gonna be my ground. And my my upper point of reference gotta be somewhere here but looking at the picture here I see that Daphne Daphne's head is gonna be about here like that and then I'm gonna paint the flow of her of her body her anatomy the, the main the motion of her body so I know I know that's that's her head and I know that their foot is gonna end about here. Her right foot and her left foot is gonna be about here. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just placing my elements. These are not the, the, the final figures. These are not. This is not the final uh, look of the painting. I'm just positioning my elements. So the motion of her is as a curve like that. We can even we can even put her her shoulder just to give me a more a, another point of reference right there. All right, and then maybe her other arm. This is her hand like that. Too big, too big of a hand. So you can remove the painting like that. It's easy as that. So you just the hand like that. The hand is a little curved like that. Again, I'm using too much paint. But the beauty of painting is that you can remove the excess. So again, hand here and the arm like that. And then again, we're gonna go ahead and paint the flow of her body. So her torso goes maybe like that, and her knee. She got she got very long legs. So her knee is gonna be about here. So it's gonna be a full motion like that. And of course you're gonna see her her left leg like that. But okay, again this is just a flow and from there we're gonna, we're gonna give her some the form of her body like that. You can you can start like getting way ahead of myself, but it's just for the video purposes. Alright, I got I got Daphne here. Right, I her 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 dress flows in the wind like that. All right, anyway, I have the main element, which is Daphne. Now I'm gonna go to Apollo. So as you can see, Apollo's head, I always, I always try to position the head first. So Apollo's head is about, it's about at elbow level of Daphne's, and his face looks like that. Now that's a little far back. You need to be a little closer. So elbow level 
his head about here like supplicant talking to her hold on hold on wait for me don't run from me don't be scared all right his neck here all right and he's he's on one knee so I'm gonna I'm gonna paint his motion which is this is his torso here so it goes to that level this is where the where the leg bent like that again you can remove excess paint at this level before it dries all right so position the knee his foot right there and like I said this is the motion of his body so he's like leaning forward his left leg continues the motion of his body and then you have that part and that part now his arms all right so the left arm goes like that and his hand is about this high so this is the this is the left arm now we're gonna do we're gonna do the right arm so the right arm goes his elbow look his elbow it's almost, it's almost like right below the level of his chin here. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and paint his right arm all the way to the elbow. And now his arm, his forearm and hand over, overlap the figure of darkness. So this is about the angle of his forearm, like that. And his, his, his hand goes like that. I know you can see that. And show it, show it from, from the front. All right, so we have a polo's head like this here. All right, his left arm. All right, and of course he's in for for this. In in the picture I have he's like over clothes. So in my painting he's gonna have less clothing, and he has a a cape or a cloak here. Maybe I'm, I'll, I'll, I'll paint the cloak myself for my painting. But anyway, this is Daphne's dress. I don't know if I'm gonna make Daphne wearing a, I'm gonna paint Daphne wearing a, a dress or I'm gonna just paint her with less clothes. But anyway, that's gonna be my main two elements. Once I'm satisfied with the position of the elements right here, um, they're not completely centered as you can see. My, my full center is gonna be right here about this area. So they're off center and, th and there's a reason for that because the in uh, even though in the original picture here I have only two elements in my creation in my painting what I'm gonna have is I'm gonna paint a cupid here in this area here a cupid looking at them because remember that from the from the lay from the myth cupid uh, shot an arrow and uh, a lead arrow to um, to Daphne's heart and he shot the golden arrow to uh, Apollo's heart. So he created this situation, Cupid, just for the fun of it. He was very mischievous. And now, as Daphne is transformed into a, a, a laurel tree, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna include uh, her father, because when, when she's running from, from Apollo, Daphne pleads to her father, Peneus, to help her to prevent Apollo from touching her, from reaching, from from pretty much from from touching her, and so she pleads to her father, which is a river god named Peneus. So I'm gonna paint an old Peneus here, looking at him probably like that. He's gonna be his torso. He's gonna be his arm like that, and he's gonna be probably. I'm just creating right here. So his his right arm is probably gonna be probably reached towards towards Daphne, like here, like. Yeah, daughter, I'm gonna help you. And his right, his uh, left arm is like reached backwards as he's, he's like running towards her. He's gonna be his, his torso, he's gonna be painted from the back. He's gonna be looking at them here. So that's why I didn't paint these two figures right center. I mean, dead center. Because I need a cupid here and I need a penis here, okay? So that's pretty much how you, how you, how you compose a painting, how you start a painting. And the other thing I'm gonna do before we, we close this video is that as you can see I have a have a forest in the back 
so I'm gonna help you a little bit even though I should leave it at that just just for the for teaching purposes I'm gonna include the elements of the background right here just to teach you how you how you do it since you have your all your elements in place now what you do is for for example you gotta see the angle of the composition and I need a little bit more hair, uh, weight here in this area because this is this area is already too crowded. I have three elements here, very heavy as you can see, but I have like an empty canvas other than Cupid here. Cupid is going to be very small here, but it's very light in this area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to paint a, a big old oak tree in the background, probably one of the closer planes to the figures here. So I'm going to paint like that an oak tree, very heavy, thick, to help me with the balance of the painting. All right, so like that. This is not gonna be, of course, the final. And then there's some other trees here. It's, they're in the in a forest. There's a little water here running from this area because remember, Peneus, Peneus is, is, a, is a river god. So it's gonna be coming out of the water. And in the legend, if you read it, uh, all this scene is happening by a river. That's why I guess she she ran towards the river trying to get help from her father, Peneus. So that's why this, this figure is happening by a river. I'm gonna add, add water here. Okay, this is gonna be grass. Okay, there's, there's gonna be more more trees here. Anyway, and it's gonna be I'm gonna have a big light source here. Come, this area is gonna be very nice and clear. It's pretty, it looks pretty messy right now, but then I'm gonna I'm gonna upload some some follow-up videos with different stages as I go painting like that. So what I'm I'm trying these are pretty much clues for myself. I'm putting clues on the painting as in what I decided to do. Um, I don't know if you can see me here, but these are clues for me for my future. This is how for my future. Uh, process of painting. So these are clues for me. This is a this is a clue that okay you have to paint a, a, a very nice light source from this area. That's a clue for me. You have a tree that you gotta paint here in this area. You have all the elements. You have a river. This is this is a it's like a mental note or a note for me. You gotta paint a river here. You gotta paint grass here. This is the ground painting as well. I'm I am i want to as it's tradition to paint the God rivers in the paintings, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, paint a, a jar of water here near Peneus. Probably he's gonna be either holding it or he's gonna be near him. This is another clue for myself, eh? like, a, like a note. Paint a water jug near Peneus here. So this is the composition. I just composed. I based my painting on this on this on this picture of, of an old movie, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna I'm gonna stick to it. I'm free to add or move or do whatever I want with my composition. Now, as you can see, my go by painting or my inspiration painting is black and white. So I'm gonna be adding full colors here to my painting. And it's gonna be beautiful. Um, I'm gonna add some videos. Anyway, thank you for listening. And that's all I can do for you today. Thank you.